Hi friends, so today we're in a new little space. We're in front of my window because uh, I may or may not have broken my coffee table. So today all I wanted to do was a quick little video on how I knit as a crocheter first. Um, I've had a couple requests on this. I don't even know how to explain it. So I'm just gonna show you what I do and see if that helps any. So I'm gonna go straight from the beginning. Um, we're just starting off with my Mindful Collection from Knitter's Pride. I love these needles. I've got some worsted weight yarn, and then I've got um, size six millimeter needles just on this little like 14 inch cable. And I like the swivel cables specifically from Knit Picks. Um, I don't know if anybody else, ha or yeah, I don't know if anybody else has swivel cables. Um, but Knit Picks slash Knitter's Pride, they do, and I love them. So, anyway, enough fangirling over the needles. To cast on, we're just going to do a little one today. Um, this is the long tail, quote unquote, cast on. So you just make a slip knot like you do for crocheting. And I'm explaining this as if you know how to crochet. So basic things like a slip knot, I'm not going to show you how to do on here right now. But if that is a request and you want some, like, first time crochet tutorials, I am down to make a whole series on those. Just let me know. Um, so to start, we've got our slip knot, we've got our tail, and we've got our working yarn. So for this, I just put my pointer and my thumb finger in and separate those. And then I hold my yarn with my pointer and I loop under, loop around, and back through that hole. So I'm not really going to show a lot of casting on because this is the same whether or not you're a crocheter or a knitter. But I did want to show you how I do it. Just for that um, example. So we've just got a couple stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll do one more for ten. And then all I do is I hold my yarn, and I say all I do as if it's the easiest thing in the world. I understand this is really difficult. Um, I promise, I struggled with this for a couple years before it clicked because I didn't really have anybody to show me how. So for me, I pick up the yarn with my pinky and wrap it around just like I do in crocheting. And then for knitting, you take the tip of your needle and go underneath your yarn and then I just wrap it around and come back through and I'm gonna go slow this whole row so in around push it off in around push it off See, I messed up right there and I got caught on the yarn. And then the last stitch is normally a little bit tighter because that's your slip knot. And that is the first row knitted. You won't really be able to see anything yet because it's your first row. So then we'll turn our needle around and to purl, we'll put our yarn in the front. And I hold it down with my thumb. I have yet to find an easier way for me to purl while still holding the yarn. I'm gonna get the first one done. And then to, or while still holding the yarn in my left hand. So needle goes in front of the stitch this time. So in front, you wrap your yarn over, and then you slide off the stitch. So this is a lot trickier for me. There's another way to do it, um, holding your yarn in your right hand, 
but that is just not the way that I do it. It takes me a lot longer. Um, it's, it's equivalent to me to working with wooden needles. If you find that your metal needles are too slippy, I recommend getting a set of wooden needles to practice on until you get the hang of it because the wooden needles will keep your yarn from skipping off. So this is what the this side will look like and then this is a mess right now. But your stockinette side. So now to keep going we'll get our yarn and then we'll work another knit row. So there you go. I, like I said, it's not a very long tutorial. This was just uh, requested a couple times and um, people just wanted to know how I knit as a crocheter because I do it a little bit differently than um, a lot of knitters do, a lot of like popular knitters. Um, but it's, I think it's just because I was a crocheter first and I just don't know any other way. So <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing it the way that I figured out works best for me and I think that's the moral of crocheting and knitting is just do it how it works best for you and as long as you're not hurting anybody which I don't know how you would but I'm sure people could figure out a way just be kind crochet if you want knit if you want don't do either if you don't like them if you somehow manage to get to this video and you are not a crafter thanks for hanging out this long but yeah so I'm gonna wrap it up now just because I know I've been rambling for a bit but this is um, my normal speed of knitting just kind of wanted to show you that because that's what people get um, mesmerized was the word by so yeah <laughs> you can hear Icora in the background maybe she's hollering wanting some love so I'm going to go give Cora some love and y'all have a good rest of your week and I will see you in the next video. Bye!